So, you want to know how to get started in cybersecurity? Well, you've come to the right place because that is exactly what I'll be going through in today's video. To do that, we'll be discussing three different steps that you can take to get started into cyber. Cybersecurity is currently a rapidly growing field with immense opportunities. By following the approach that I take in this video, following all three steps, you will be able to pave your way for a successful career in cybersecurity. In step one, we'll talk about building a foundation. And what that means is we'll go through how to exactly go about education, experience or certifications within cyber. Step two, we'll talk about setting a goal within cyber. And then step three, we'll talk about networking and what you need to do within that area. Everything is timestamped down below, so feel free to skip ahead or backwards. But I highly recommend that you stick till the end of the video and do watch every segment as it will benefit you highly. Before we move on, I just want to mention that there is a link to my Discord down below where we talk about cybersecurity and help each other succeed in the field. It's an open place where you can ask any questions or just read what everyone else is writing. And just as a disclaimer, I have been in cybersecurity for around six years now, so I will be talking from my own experiences and research in this video. So, let's make a start with step one, building a foundation. This is one of the key technical areas that I believe will lead you to success within this field. And as mentioned before, these three areas are education, experience and or certifications. I'm not saying that you need to cover these three areas to get into the cybersecurity field. I'm just saying you need to at least cover a minimum one of these and at best two to get your foot into the door and at least get into that cyberspace. Of course, having two or three will be a lot more beneficial, but that will of course be harder at the beginning of your career. So let's go through these and see what we mean by each one. Starting with first, education, as that is of course the first and easiest route that's normally taken when trying to get into a certain field. So an example of this is going to university or doing an apprenticeship in cybersecurity. I'm a big fan of apprenticeships at the moment as they give you a real experience as to what you will do on the job and also earn money at the same time. There are also lots of university degree apprenticeships out at the moment in the cybersecurity space. If you're interested in those or want to know more, do join my Discord. This is a good first step and it will show employers that you have learnt the foundational knowledge needed for the job in essential areas like networking, operating systems and programming languages, whether that be for an apprenticeship or at university. You can then also take this further and do online courses, tutorials or read specific books which are valuable resources to learn these fundamentals. Next we then have experience, so even though I did just mention this in the education section, this is a totally separate category in terms of building a foundation because you can get experience in an IT role that will help you get a cyber job, however you may not have been to university or done an apprenticeship in the past. So what this means is any IT type of role or any role you can blend that will allow you to dive into the cyber space. Practical experience is of course invaluable, invaluable in the cybersecurity field. So I would make sure that you try to seek out as many opportunities that will help you apply your knowledge through things like internships, part-time jobs, or even volunteering. Try to look for organizations or projects where you can gain real hands-on experience in areas like vulnerability assessments, penetration testing, or even security operations if you can. The more practical experience you have, the stronger your foundation becomes. And of course, if you tie this with one of the other areas, it then presents an even stronger opportunity to get that first job. Then moving on to the final category that we have here, it is certifications. So this is more about pursuing industry recognized certifications, such as CompTIA, who are a very reputable organization in the cyberspace, who provide the exams A+, Network+, Security+, and a whole lot more, whether that be beginners, or people who are already within the field looking for something slightly more advanced. This trio that I've got on the screen at the moment is probably the most well-known certifications for people looking to get into cybersecurity. Of course, there are a whole lot more out there. However, a lot of jobs on LinkedIn will normally um, have in their job spec the A+, the Network+, plus, or mostly the Security+. Plus. So it's probably good to keep an eye out for some of these certifications or consider sitting them. And again, 
as these three are three different types of ways you can build a foundation, you can either link a few, whether you have a university degree and then you want to plan on getting a certification that will of course help you in getting that job. As nowadays, most people don't just go into these types of jobs with just a degree. You usually need something more to prove you can practically work in that field. So you could, I would recommend highly tying two of these at least together, whether that's experience tied with a certification or even just education tied with a certification, or we can completely go out with the certification and just have the education and experience with something similar or related. So I would definitely recommend looking at these and seeing where you can tie your education experience or knowledge together to help you get that first step into cybersecurity. And now that we've covered building a foundation, we'll move on to setting a goal and what this means. So to begin with, it's important to understand the whole cybersecurity landscape. A lot of people hear this term, sound interested and want to dive straight in without knowing or understanding the whole area in general. So cybersecurity does encompass various domains and offers a diverse variety of career paths. And that can be from cybersecurity analysts to penetration testers to security consultants. You can see a bunch of different roles within cybersecurity coming on the screen now. So there's lots of different roles to suit different interests and skills. And before diving in, I would recommend highly that you take some time to explore the different roles and identify which one aligns with your passions and strengths. And of course, at the beginning of your career, you may not know where you want to be in 10 years time, but it's good to understand each of these different types of roles and think that, that if that's something you could be interested in, because then you can start to align things like your education and your certifications towards that. So instead of it being a web of certifications that don't really make sense, it looks like a specific career path that you're heading down. And it's easier then to talk about why you want a specific job in interviews. Just then, as an example here, let's look at penetration testers. So they normally look to simulate cyber attacks to identify key vulnerabilities in systems and networks. They'll normally assess the effectiveness of the security controls and provide recommendations for improvement. Whereas then if we flip that and look at security architects, they normally tend to design and implement secure systems, networks and infrastructure for an organization. They'll tend to ensure that security controls and technologies are integrated effectively and then can protect that sensitive information. So you can see there by just me picking two out how very different they are, even though they fall within cybersecurity. So I definitely recommend that you view multiple roles and see where your interest lies of course like i said before you might not know at the beginning but it's best to have that in your head so you know and you're not surprised later on when you think you could have started that journey a lot sooner and like i said it's a lot better if you know and are able to talk about that in your interviews this will then of course help you understand your path for certifications or more education as there is no point taking random certifications that people are recommending online. You need to look at the job that you want and how you can get there. So that covers setting a goal. Let's now move on to step three, which is networking. I want to begin with talking about LinkedIn and how we can split the use of LinkedIn into two separate reasons as to why you should use it. The first reason being is that you are able to learn from experts for free. LinkedIn hosts a numerous amount of cybersecurity professionals, communities and groups where everyone comes together to share their knowledge, experiences and most importantly their resources. I would definitely make sure you're on this platform and you engage in discussions and ask questions and learn from those industry experts. Over the years it's something that I've found really really useful and I've constantly and actively engaged with LinkedIn and people on LinkedIn and just as an example, saved numerous amounts of posts on there that I've seen and people have provided for free. That's massively helped me in my day-to-day -day job. Active participation, as I just said, demonstrates then your passion for the field and commitment to the field, allowing you to then share similar interests with like-minded people. You won't realize how much you learn by just scrolling on the platform and connecting with people in a similar field. 
which then nicely leads on to my second reason as to why you should use LinkedIn for networking, which is, is that it has also become a go-to platform for job seekers, recruiters and employers in the cybersecurity industry. Many organisations post their job openings just exclusively on LinkedIn, making it then a valuable resource for discovering those new career opportunities straight away. So I would definitely learn how to utilise the job search function to explore all those roles and positions where you can then filter it by, say, location or the skill set required. And then you can connect directly with those recruiters and speak to them about the roles. It's also something useful if you're not looking for a job at the moment. It's good to scan the environment and just know what's happening out there in the field for when you do need to look for a new job. So it's useful for two really good reasons there, as you can see from what I've covered. Moving on to the next networking segment, I want to talk about conferences and events. So every year, there are loads of events that bring together cybersecurity professionals. Of course, some will be closed to a specific group of people, but there are lots out there that are open for everyone. And by making connections and engaging in conversations at these events, you increase your visibility and then also learn more about potential job openings, internships or even projects that align with your interests and skill set. Just as an example, from a recent conference, which was InfoSec Europe, which was held in London recently. InfoSec Europe is more targeted towards finding out about the latest cybersecurity tech and learning from those experts. So you can see in this example, even though it's not directly related to recruitment, it would teach you loads about the current tech used by some of the biggest organizations, which would be great for you to talk about or be aware of in interviews. When you do go to talk to those hiring managers, it's good for your awareness and your ability to show examples of tools that you've seen being actively used in the day-to-day -day jobs. So that's why I think these two are really important things to consider in the networking step of getting into cybersecurity. So you now have a roadmap for building a solid foundation to starting in cybersecurity. And just remember, it's a journey that requires dedication, continuous learning, and practical experience. So as you progress, you can explore different specialized areas of cyber that will align with your interests and pivot as you feel necessary. Hopefully that's been useful for you. Do remember to check out my Discord where we talk about everything that we've mentioned in this video and just your career in general. Please do leave a like as it massively helps out the video and tells me that you're enjoying this type of content.